Good morning, my name is Kat Davis of Painted Paper Crafting and I have gotten a lot of requests to film a video showing the actual process of painting on paper through the completion of a project. And so to, today I've decided to demonstrate how to paint one of my most popular items which is the Santa Treat Pocket. To start with for the paper prep you're going to need brown paper or a brown paper bag. You're going to need a copy of the pa pattern that you want to use to paint. You're going to need some large paper clips, a sewing machine, tracing paper, a pencil, and a hot glue gun ready to go. To begin with, you place your pattern on the paper to determine the size of the paper that you need and then I just kind of mark off where it needs to be folded and I fold it one time on the mark and then cut. Now this particular project for the backing does take about six layers of brown paper. If you don't want to use that much brown paper, sometimes I'll use one sheet of cardstock inserted in the middle of the brown paper, but typically I just use six layers of brown paper, and I've already pre-cut the layers that I need for the base of the Santa pattern, and I insert the layers in the center then, of course, you just lay your pattern down, put a piece of tracing paper, and make sure that you have at least a half of an inch to an inch from each end of the paper, because you're going to need a border around the sewn edges. So then you simply trace the pattern on. I'm not too fussy about how I trace it on. I kind of like a rustic look to my projects. Tracing is really pretty self-explanatory, but I kind of focus, try to focus my projects to the beginner in mind. Now this particular Santa, I like a little texture on the beard. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some hot glue curlicues. And again, I'm not too fussy when I'm tracing those on because I want them to be kind of free form and rustic. Now I've traced on the base for this particular project and I kind of forgot to trace on part of the mustache there. And now I'm going to cut it out, leaving you know, about a half inch border on the side. And then to make it easier to sew together, I'm just going to trim off these edges, making sure I don't get too close to the traced lines because we will trim it one more time. Now to hold the project together, obviously it would be very hard to get pins through this. To hold the project together while I'm sewing, I just simply put a few paper clips around them and as I sew around, I'll remove the paper clips. Now this project has a pocket, um, you'll remember, that you can use to insert treats in. At Christmas time, I like to put in real candy and, and give some as gifts, just a little something something to people. So I'm going to go ahead and trace on the pocket. Now the pocket is a double 
layer of paper. We're not going to use six layers. We're just going to use a double layer. And when tracing the pocket, you have to be a little bit more precise than when you're tracing your backing. So you're going to place your pattern on top right where, in fact, sometimes to make it easier, I'll fold it on the line where the Santa pocket needs to be sewn on to the Santa backing. And I just insert it onto the paper. Put the brown paper and the tracing paper and your pattern all together and then trace. And on this, I just cut it around. Now we have to sew the backing together. At this time, we're not going to be sewing on the pocket. That will be in the next step, the base coating step. But we do have to sew the backing. Now, for this kind of sewing, I typically use um, a heavier sewing needle because you're going to be going through several layers of paper. I usually use the one that's uh, called for denim. Now, as you sew, you're going to just sew exactly on the line that you trace. Again, I'm not too fussy about actually sewing on the line. If I go a stitch or two off, it's not going to make a bit of difference in your final project. Your stitches won't show. The stitches will be painted over. Remove the paper clips as you go. Cut your threads, and you're going to cut your threads very close, as close as you can possibly get them to the front, and then trim them from the back. And then you're going to set aside your sewing machine if you have it all on one area like I do. And the next step we're going to do is the hot glue. I like texture on the beard. I think it gives it a lot of interest. Now before I hot glue it, because I want my lines to kind of match up, I will put the Santa match the lines. And you'll be able to see very easily. Um, it's marked on the pattern also, but you'll be able to see very easily where the pocket fits. Then you're going to apply a fairly thick line of hot glue. I forgot, you really don't want your paper clips too close to where you're going to be putting your hot glue. And so you're going to just firmly put a thick line on the first, 
Then you're going to do your curly cue beginning a little, little bit beyond the fold line and at least a half an inch inside the traced line so that you'll be able to sew the pocket on without any interruption. And I'm not too fussy when I put these lines on either. I think it creates interest when they're kind of jiggly wiggly. Now because the lines are so thick, it's going to take a few minutes to dry. So I'm going to set this one aside. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's dry. It'll kind of harden. And sometimes you'll get strings. I hate these blue strings. I usually will just pick them or brush them off. If I don't get all of them off, I don't care. When they're painted on, they just create interest anyway. And now I'm going to end this here and I'm going to prepare for part two of painting on paper, the base coating.